press the bell icon on the YouTube app to never miss a video from News Laundry. देश की आन बान शान आईएनएस विराट जो हमारा समुद्री युद्ध जहाज जहाज है आईएनएस विराट का अपने पर्सनल टैक्सी की तरह इस्तेमाल किया था उसका अपमान किया था ये बात तब की है जब राजीव गांधी भारत के प्रधानमंत्री थे और 10 दिन के लिए छुट्टियां मनाने निकले थे I have just turned uh, 13 or so because I turned 13 in March and of the year of that year 1987 my I was going for my summer vacation just before this is just before the vacation that Rajiv Gandhi took in the winter so this is the summer of that my father just got posted around that time and so uh, I spoke told my friends about it my friends were you know now they are on the top of their profession Nikhil Nanda who's now the chairman of Escorts and Nakul Nath who's now become a politician so I went rushing to them to tell them because at that age you are young and impressionable and so i wanted to tell them oh, my father is going to lakshadweep so they thought i was crazy they told me there is no such place because they got their lattu wala globe and in the lattu wala globe there was no lakshadweep so they told me you are not going to lakshadweep you are going to andaman and in those days you had to fly from delhi to cochin and then from cochin a helicopter would come a pavan hans helicopter would take you to the island there was no airport the airport and everything was built after the island development authority took place in the winter of 1987 and that's what people what people must realize is that you know this meeting really transformed the face of uh, this whole area lakshadweep which, which meeting are we talking about though? the island development authority meeting that is a, a much more significant point to uh, discuss rather than whether virat was there or not which it wasn't there because we never saw in any of that but the significant part of that meeting was that it helped the island to develop and then the island became a world class resort after that Well I I really liked the place but then you know there was a lot of concern from family members and also from friends also from Mr and Mrs Gandhi when my father was going there because it was very cut off that place supposing there was a medical emergencies what happens if food was not easily available it used to come twice a week on the boat the Bharat Seema there were no regular flights or helicopter services you had to specially request a helicopter if there was an emergency now there could be anything happening there was a hurricane or something some tragic you know some difficult a uh, situation you were going through how would you uh, be able to go away from there you know so that it was a scary uh, place for that in, in that respect but it was very it was at the same time a very beautiful place i suppose my parents were younger i always thought they were much older but when i look back at that time now i'm actually older than they were at that time only sonia gandhi and rajiv gandhi who came on an helicopter and the rest of them were just the ministers all the entire cabinet they were there special arrangements had been made for them to stay on the on the island was uh, was lakshadweep accessible back in the day easily or you know how do you think the ministers came there very uh, it was very difficult to get there i'm thinking some of them came on the bharat seema and some of them may have been transported by the navy i'm not sure but i'm quite sure a lot of them came on the bharat seema which was the transport ship you could call it a cru- not cruise line at all in any which way and later another one was boat was purchased called the tipu sultan i think even functional till till date but it was just a regular sort of ship that could be used for transport it had rooms and it had other cabin areas but for that meeting that for when they landed in kavrati the, they had a two day conclave the island development authority meeting and all the cabinet entire cabinet was there and apparently virat was somewhere off show at that time they were going to having an exercise or whatever uh, but the whole cabinet was there so i suppose they had to secure them so they were there somewhere far away we didn't even see it nobody knew where they were i'm sure even rahul and priyanka were totally unaware of the aware about some of the security and everything they were so young we were so young we were like uh, young kids i was like 13 rahul must have been like 16 or something where was he worried about what security was what ship was roaming around where you know see as far as i was concerned i saw them in kavarati they came in they came by helicopter 
um, Rajiv Gandhi went for his meetings. Sonia Gandhi was came to the house. She met the met with the family, and she went round and saw the ladies. She were, they had a little cultural program for her. She, there was there's a little museum there. She was there, and so she was just involved with that. And uh, then for two days she was there. Then the third third day, I suppose the third day that she went to Bangaram, and that's where the rest of the family came. And the family was who? I mean, there were of course the Bachchan, the very close friends of theirs, and there were one or two other people. The first, uh, the friends and family were not there with the meeting at all. And uh, when they uh, when they were all there on the island, uh, with the other island where the, you know for the holidays. So what happened is that they flew in directly from Cochin on the Pavan Hans helicopters to Bangaram, and uh, they paid for their own stay and everything for the travel. So while the family and friends went to Bangaram, uh, Ra uh, Rajiv and Sonia came to Lakshadweep for to attend the meeting. Right. No, but they were not there. They came afterwards. After those two days. Rahul and Priyanka also came later. First the meeting happened, then they went on their holiday. Uh, Rahul and Priyanka, uh, they came to Lakshadweep or they met the family at Bangarao? They left, that's also part of Lakshadweep. I mean, Kavarati, they were not at Kavarati. But were they at Kavarati? They were not at Kavarati, oh. no. They met them directly in Bangaram. I went for the day with my parents. There was uh, I, the bachans were there, and they, everybody was lounging around over there because, you know, it was so cut off that they there were no cameras there, so they, their privacy was maintained. That's the only reason I think they actually came to Lakshadweep because they had their privacy. They could spend time as a family in Lakshadweep, which they would not have been able to do anywhere else. So did you see the INS Virat anywhere close by? Did you happen to see it? Anywhere? Nothing. In fact, the boats were that, you know, that kind of picture I put on Facebook that were with the old Dow kind. Those are the boats that were there at that time. There was not, you know, no modern uh, boats or anything. Those only came much later after the Island Development Authority meeting took place. That's one of my father's legacies, actually. He, he uh, helped uh, Lakshadweep evolve as a modern place. Then uh, the airport was built. There was a new ship that was bought. Tipu Sultan was bought, you know, for transport of guests and so on. I don't think so at all because it was not never even seen the Virat where the Virat was and uh, Mrs. Gandhi was very particular that Rahul and Priyanka didn't use the government facilities at all. She didn't even want them to travel in the government helicopter and the naval helicopter and so on. When they were going for their own thing in the, uh, in the naval helicopter, she didn't allow them to board because she said they should not use government facilities. I also say it's completely false because you know they are not the kind of people who would do such a thing. Besides, Rahul and Priyanka came directly to the island. Where were they going to go onto the INS Virat and why? You know, because the INS Virat was parked off somewhere really far away in the ocean, wherever it was, and it was going for its exercise or you know, guarding them or whatever. But it was somewhere far away. They were holidaying on that island, which was just an island as a getaway. Rahul and Priyanka came on the Pavan Hans and so did the other relatives and so did, so did Amitabh Bachchan and Jaya Bachchan and Shweta and Abhishek. They all came on the Pavan Hans helicopter which there were direct flights from Cochin which you could book and then they would carry you to uh, Bangaram. But that was for the tourists, they could do that. Do you think there's been an overlap or a confusion of two separate incidents that have resulted in such of course there's overlap yesterday on india today they kept although we my father was quite had told them quite clearly there were two separate incidents still they were trying the spokespeople of the different political parties were trying to say well what were rahul and priyanka and the family doing at the meeting they were not at the meeting because they were two separate events the media is trying to confuse the issue the mainstream media you know how it is the one I'm not going to say too much about that. Those people knew about it. In fact, the people had said so clearly, my father had made it so clear, and they know themselves so clearly that there were two separate events that were taking place, and why mix the two up? In Kavrati, yes, there were lunches and dinners and all, because it was a very small place, so the official dinners and all were held in the administrator's house. What were those dinners like? You know, what, what were like, a, like? like a buffet kind of a dinner, and all the ministers would be there. Very casual, because Lakshadweep is a very casual place. It's not a very formal, it's a so beach. What were some beach. of the memories that you have with the Gandhi family when they were there? Well, I, I remember her very clearly now because she came as Mrs. Gandhi. I remember her coming to the house very clearly 
and you know there was a little bit of formality obviously because my parents knew them but they were coming on official visit so we were told to stay in our rooms and so on but immediately as she came there she said I want to see the kids too they must come and eat with us and I want to talk to them so then we came out and then she talked about how we were doing school and everything regular like an aunt talks to their nephews she spoke to us like that and then there we, we had planted some uh, some plants in the in the courtyard in the foyer she wanted to know what kind of plants they were you know just like a like an aunt that those that's the kind of conversation she had with us and then after some time she went off of course because it was hardly such a big i'm saying there was not you know it was not even a big deal but nothing happened it was such a simple affair compared compared to what happened the kind of events they hold now that affair was a very simple event we, the kind of accommodation also that was provided was so ba basic you know there's like these cottages that were made for the cabinet ministers they're very basic compared to now they're nothing they were not even uh, one tenth of what kind of facilities people enjoy now and the kind of boats they have speed boats and other things there was no grocery store there was one store where you could buy stationery and other things and the groceries and all came from the mainland on this bharat seema the ship it was twice a, a, a week or whatever and that's what was very scary for us also you know supposing the supply lines got cut or something the ship couldn't come then there would be no food on the island although they had their own way they, you know the locals had their own cuisines which was they had this fish which they buried in the ground and they you know it's like in the sand they bury it and they they place coal over it and bakes in the sand that's the speciality of lakshadweep and then they have the other kind of seafood so i suppose you could survive on that but then you know when you're used to a, a proper meal you know can't really uh, for a person who's come from another place you won't be able to survive on that really not at all not really. no no tourists went there that time frankly there were few very few who went there but because it was so difficult you could only really access it from the ship the helicopter service had also this pavanan service was a very new service at that time it had just started a year before i think for my dad came just then it started so he could get to the island on a helicopter but otherwise everyone had to go on this boat and it would just take at least 2 3 days and that if you're not uh, you know didn't have a strong stomach and you're seasick then you really got, had it because they they were not the kind of it's not a, like a luxury cruise liners that you have now which have the stabilizers and all that it was like the virgin islands like the two islands were totally virgin there was no uh, they were nothing was uh, you know they were to very uh, pristine yeah well they were with their father they were talking to their father it was very relaxed in fact mrs gandhi was sitting in a swimming they costume all of them rahul and priyanka mrs gandhi they were all together talking to each other they were having a word with they were talking to their father you know and they were sitting there everyone was very relaxed and mrs gandhi was in a swimming costume it was very rare nobody would ever have seen ever seen her in a swimming costume she was sitting there very relaxed and it was it was a very very casual atmosphere so did you have any interactions with rahul and priyanka did you all hang yes we just said hello and all that and we went around here and there we all sort of what did you do as kids i'm asking more out of curiosity just like there was a boat there uh -huh. and so we went in the boat into the lagoon you know and you do there was snorkeling there's had some snork you know that, that in the old, in, even now they have the snorkeling then the because it has a, a nice big lagoon that island bangaram so we went snorkeling that way like way all what kids do of course because i know that they are, what they were saying is absolutely incorrect because they never misuse the services of the government at all you know because they're so careful because being the prime minister's kids they were extra careful that they should not use the facilities of the kids i think now the uh, children use the facilities much more of their parents facilities much more especially ministers kids and everything they have go on the planes with their parents and everything but in those days they never did so they were so careful about using and even then after being so careful about not using government facilities then to accuse accuse somebody of doing this is very unfair that's what i felt that way like wake all what kids do well i again just like to say that you know it was a very simple place it was a very basic kind of a holiday it was there was no there were no luxury facilities there at all especially at that time uh, and you know the word luxury didn't exist at that time the only luxury was that it was a beautiful place you had a pristine environment over there which was didn't exist i suppose in many places but uh, beyond that there was nothing more